Hey everyone, welcome back to Engineering Education. For this next problem, we have another DC circuit, only this time we're concentrating on the physical operations of this DC circuit. And here we have a parallel plate capacitor with a spacing between the parallel plates of one centimeter. And suppose that we have an electron mass whose mass is 18.2 times 10 to the negative 31 kilograms. Suppose that we have this mass inserted in between these two parallel plates and we apply 500 volts DC to the top plate. So we're applying positive charges to the top plate, therefore minus charges on the bottom plate. And we're asked to find the force exerted on the electron mass. And lastly, here we're given that the, the mass of one electron is 9.1 times 10 to the negative 31 kilograms. So as always, pause the video, give it a shot, and we'll go over the answer in a bit. So to go about solving this, we have to go back to our FE handbook as always. And here on, well in this version, page 200, the very beginning of the electrical and computer engineering section, we have a unit on electrostatics right here. And if we go down some, we can find the equation for force. And here it is right here. So the force on a point charge Q, which is this electron mass, in an electric field with intensity E is F equals QE. So that's the equation that we're going to use. And then the other equation we're going to use, just going up a little bit here under the voltage section, the intensity E, the E field, is given by the voltage divided by D. And so D is the distance between the parallel plates. So going back to our figure here, we know that when we apply positive charges to the parallel plate capacitor, an E field forms. So we'll call that E, and E field forms in between the parallel plates. And we're going to make this ideal. There's not going to be any fringe fields or anything like that. And so based on the formula that we got from the handbook, force is equal to Q times E. But we also saw that E is just voltage divided by this distance between the parallel plates. So that's Q times V over D. And we're given V, which is 500 volts DC. And we know that D is one centimeter. But now we just got to find Q. So what is Q? Q is the elementary charge. So we know that the particle inside these plates is an electron. And we know that it's two electrons because the mass is exactly twice the number of a single electron. So we have two electrons. So we have two electrons in between the parallel plate capacitor. And we need to find the elementary charge of an electron. And to find that Q, we go back to the FE handbook. All that information is there. There's no need to remember any formulas, any constants, any constants that are not in the FE handbook will be given to you. And so in the very first section, we have this section called units. And if we go down, we have fundamental constants here, page one. And we're told here, actually the very first one, that the electron charge uh, denoted by symbol E, we're using the symbol Q, is equal to 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19 coulombs. So that is the electron charge for one electron. Uh, we have two electrons, so we're going to multiply that number by two. So we know that Q is equal to 2E, where E was that elementary, elementary charge. So it's 2 times... 1.6 times 10 to the negative, what was it, 19 coulombs, which gives us 3.2 
times 10 to the negative 19 coulombs. And now we can just plug all that in and solve for the force. So force is equal to this Q, 3.2 times 10 to the negative 19, multiplied by 500 V, divided by 1 centimeter, so 1 times 10 to the negative 2. And when we do that, plugging it into the Casio calculator that I have on the link below, I get 1.6 times 10 to the negative 14, and the units is newtons. So that is the answer there. So that electron mass in between those two parallel plates experiences a force of 1.6 times 10 to the negative 14 newtons in the direction shown by these blue arrows here. So the important thing to remember here is that we were given an electron mass and we had to divide that electron mass by the mass of a single electron so that we can determine how many individual electrons were inside this field. And once we determine that, we found Q based on how many electrons were in the parallel plate. Uh, in our case here, we had two, so we multiplied two by the elementary charge, 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19, and we determined the force using the equation up here. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you did, please give the video a thumbs up. Please subscribe to the channel. And if there's a video that you'd like to see on the channel, please let me know in the comments below. I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, enjoy engineering.